Hello, everyone. Hi, it's Jack. <sighs> Tiff. We're so glad that you're here. Yes. And we're glad that we're here. <laughs> and today we're talking about a very important topic. And it has to do with your relationship, your intimate relationship. Ooh. So we're not talking about your relationship with your kids. But what we're sharing, well, actually, it, it helps you in every area of your life. Especially yes, it does. in your intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. And we're asking you a question about thinking more masculine or more feminine. And we're going to explain why this is very important for you to understand. But first, if you'll notice on our Facebook fan page, our Tiff and Jack page, we have a tag that says life, love, and magic. Yes. And those are the three pillars of what we talk about and spend our time coaching on and working with people about. Life is about your personal life, overcoming the blocks that are getting in your way of being able to create and enjoy a life you absolutely love. Yes. Love is about your relationship and your intimate relationship, most especially. So we do couples coaching and single coaching to help people clear the blocks that are getting in the way of having a relationship they love and then magic because you know tiff is magic <laughs> but we're we are working with people to help them understand their own spiritual gifts and how yeah. to awaken and expand those tips in the middle of an awesome class online class right now that's going very well but today it's all about relationships yes so let's, let's talk about it shall we Yes, let's talk about it. Uh, who is not interested in love? And I'm sorry, if you say you're not interested in love, then you're probably thinking you don't want love in your life, but everyone's thinking about love in one way or another. I hear a lot of people say, I'm in love with myself and I'm comfortable with that. That's fine. We probably wouldn't be the coaches for them, but I do know that everyone's thinking about love, whether they want it or they don't want it. Absolutely. So it's very, very important to understand a few things. If you want to be in a really amazingly um, passionate charged relationships um, it's really important to understand whether you think more like a masculine or a feminine so um, one thing that's really interesting is we've been teaching this for a long time and um, after we started working and teaching um, about the dominant uh, thinking uh, masculine thinking and the feminine thinking uh, we ran into uh, another coach that was saying, have you guys read, um, what, what's David Data. Oh, David Data. The Way of the Superior Man. Yeah, and he teaches some really amazing things. So he's also... We are in, aligned with his way of thinking absolutely. as well. Absolutely. We are. So um, the Way to the Superior Man, that's what it's called, yeah, right? Yeah, the Way of... The way oh, the way of, of the, the superior, superior man. man by David Data. Uh -huh. And it, it is written for a masculine man specifically. Yes. It's a very, very, very good book. Yes. So um, the reason that you want to know if you think more masculine or feminine is because in relationship to have the passion and the sexual charge that everyone loves so much, there has to be a balance between masculine and feminine. Now, let me make this very clear. You have feminine and masculine energy inside of you, both. Okay, everyone has that, but there is one that is more dominant than the other. And when you get together in a relationship, you're going to want to get together with your opposite dominant. So, I am a dominant feminine thinker, and we call that the DF. Okay, so when I'm referring to this through all this, it's going to be the DF, and the, the dominant team. masculine is the DM, and it's all about the way that you think and process information and work together. This is going to be so awesome. It really is. It's exciting to understand this because then you'll start to make sense of why you approach relationships so differently than your partner. Now, one thing that you can rest in knowing, typically if you are in a relationship with someone already, chances are one of you is more dominant acting masculine and the other more dominant feminine thinking. So now, does it mean that all women are dominant feminine thinkers? No. It no does way. not. Gender has nothing to do with this. No. And does it mean that if you're a man, you're definitely a dominant masculine? No. Nope. And it has nothing to do with your sexual preference either. Some people are like, oh, well, gay men are more feminine. This is... this. It's really time for the world to get rid of all of the gender roles and ideas about what all that is because it's bullshit. Yep. And we are here to teach you some amazing things about relationship that can ignite your relationship and passion. And let me tell you, our relationship is 
on fire. (laughs) We are two. (laughs) We are two extremely passionate people. Now that does not mean that just in the good times is there a lot of passion. It also means when we're dealing with conflict, there's a lot of passion. We're very, very passionate. We're both Leos, lions, fighting. (laughs) You know, it can get a little crazy. But at the end of the day, when you show up as your dominant energy, so as a more masculine or more feminine. Those two, that's where you have the sexual chemistry. Yes. That is what sparks it, and that is the first way to um, extinguish the spark as well when you're not acting in your dominant expression. Yes. So um, statistically, um, 80% of women are dominant feminine energy. Um, Now remember, this does not mean that you do not have masculine in you. So if you are a DF like me, you may have to go to work and draw on and pull in to your um, masculine energy to take the lead and and to do some uh, logical things and make decisions. And and for men, if you're a dominant masculine, there may be times when you have to draw on your feminine energy. And really tap into your feelings and what's going on. But when you're in relationship, you're going to want to understand the dominant feminine and dominant masculine characteristic traits so that you can work together, communicate better, and actually have that sexual chemistry that ignites things so life is exciting and yummy for that relationship. Okay, and really quick, before we move forward, I want you to be thinking about right now, would you think just from what you know about yourself that you're more of a DF, dominant feminine thinking, or a DM, more dominant masculine thinking? Type it into the notes and let us know what you think. We're then going to talk about the characteristics that um, each of those character traits have so that you can identify even more clearly for yourself. And we also have a quiz that helps you figure it out. Yes, really really awesome. So um, after this live video is over on top of the, um, what we'll be talking about, so when more people watch this, we will actually have a link to the quiz that you can take and it will tell you if you're DM or DF. And also on there will be the characteristic traits, right? Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be great. great. Okay. And Michelle, yes, DF, I would agree. Yes. <laughs> You're, you have a very high DF score. No question. <laughs> no question. And Bart said DM all oh, the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, all yes, the way. Bart. We, we know Bart. We can see that about you. <laughs> 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 oh, and okay, Aaron says, I'm Femi, but if you try to bully me, I will step up and th- throw and you down. Throw you down. Okay, good. Well, we'll we're going to talk about the characteristics characteristics and see which ones. Okay, like so I have a list it. right here. Now, it's backwards. I know, I'm just showing them I have a list. You're not going to be able to read it, but I'm going to share some of these things with you so you can kind of get a better feel because this might help you understand your relationship a lot better very quickly. Mm-hmm. So the masculine energy, do you want to share what some yeah, of those you are? It, you're more of a doer. Uh, you know and identify that you have what it takes. Like if you have a problem come up, you pretty well figure out you know you can figure it out, whatever it is. You're more of a providing, protecting kind of energy, generous, giving, go-getter, analytical, matter of fact, a little impatient. Impatient. Striving, maybe a lot impatient. Uh, <laughs> striving, assertive, left-brained, organized, logical, busy, hard, and controlling. Do any of those words trigger you? Like being hard and controlling? Ego driven, yes. that's more of the masculine. Now, there's a way of being in alignment with those things and being out of alignment. Okay, but let's just talk about the characteristics. Okay, so the feminine energy characteristic traits is they're all about being instead of doing. So it feels better to just be than just being doing all the time and being so busy. Um, captivating, they are the home place for the masculine. So the masculine will feel very um, drawn to the feminine because it just, it's just like, oh, this is my home place. Um, we are very receiving, surrendering, intuitive, fluid, patient, tranquil, nurturing, receptive, right-brained, synthesizing, creative, calm, soft, and allowing. Now here's something that I want to share with you about the DF. Many times the dominant feminine, especially the dominant feminine woman, is struggling because they've had some traumatic experiences in relationship and so they no longer allow themselves to be vulnerable 
And so they close that part of their heart off and they project a lot of masculine energy in relationships where they try to take charge and, and um, take the lead and things like that. And it causes conflict with the other DM because when you have two DMs come together, you're going to have more like a competitive comrade type of relationship. If you have two DFs come together, you're going to have a great friendship, but it'll be hard for people to make decisions sometimes and um, there won't be the sexual attraction attraction. You have to have the opposites to come together to make the whole. And so this is why it's so important to know if you're a DM or DF and your partner as well in life because um, you'll be able to make sense of um, why you may be having some problems. And there's an amazing way to communicate when you are a DM and DF together and, and that'll probably be on another video. Um, but there's a lot of amazing things that you can do when you finally understand this balance. You're going to want balance. So many people get in relationships and they want to have the other person be just like them. And it it's happens. a problem. It is. And that's where that sexual chemistry just goes out the door. And then people are like, oh, I feel like I'm living with my roommate. Well, we want to help people get out of the roommate um, epidemic because it happens so often. So um, you'll really want to take the test and think about the characteristic traits and be like, gosh, what, what is, what am I experiencing? And I noticed, Shelly, that you had said, oh my gosh, I think I'm DM. Well, listen, I know it's a little shocking when you begin to understand this about yourself, especially being a woman and being a DM, you may be thinking, how does this work? Well, it, if it's your natural energy, uh, understanding it first and foremost is very important. Important, And then also being able to connect with your partner and their energy and beginning to understand their energy. It will give you so much clarity about what's been going on, how you've been feeling, maybe where you've been getting stuck in your communication. And like Tiff said, we'll talk more about communication in another video because we have some really great helps and hints for that. Um, Tiff said all, that we will have a link for the quiz, which is fantastic. It'll give you an idea if you're more dominant uh, feminine or masculine thinking. Mm -hmm. And you jump on, after you take the quiz, it's over on our website. You'll We have a blog and we've written extensively about being a DM or being a DF, what that looks like, how you work through conflict. Uh, what it looks like so that you can get some answers. Um, I also want to share, um, some people get really pissy about this conversation because they feel like this is not a binary, binary thing. We're not talking about that. We're talking about relationships and how they work together. Whether you're a man or woman, you could be DM or DF, that's quite irrelevant. What you want to understand is the characteristic traits because you're going to be living and thinking and feeling in completely different ways than the opposite energy. Energy. And we kind of describe it like this. When you're a ballroom dancer, what if you had two leads? How do you think the dancing would go? What if you had two following people? How would it go? There wouldn't be an a re, uh, there wouldn't be like the um, synchronicity so that you could have a beautiful dance. There has to be a lead and someone that follows the lead. And many women do not want to follow a masculine energy. It makes them feel upset. It makes them feel afraid. But there's more to it than that. It really brings in that um, David Data calls it sexual polarity. We talk about it as sexual chemistry. Sexual chemistry is an amazing thing, and some people are not interested interested in sex and if they're not then you know what we teach really wouldn't work but most people are really interested in having that sexual polarity or that sexual chemistry why because it's a connective energy and not only is sexual expression a connective energy but it's also a creation energy and I'm not talking about just making babies I'm talking about the energy of sexual connection as a creative force in bringing a lot of amazing things into your life so we have so much to share on this we're gonna I think we're going to stop sharing about this right now, but we do want you to go and take the test so that you can start understanding more. This will really help you out. And it's kind of fun. It's fun to be like, Oh my God, no wonder yeah. like you boss me around and no wonder I feel <laughs> it, a no, victim. there was no bossiness. On That's, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there should be. Masculines <laughs> tend to be a little bossy. I don't know. The feminine hey, can be quite bossy. Be, 
It's because naturally the masculine's directional, uh, right? So you know what you want, you know where you're going, and you just kind of tell everyone else what they should do. Okay, now here, okay, I do need to say one more thing about the masculine energy, the DM. Um, sometimes they're so afraid of making the DF upset, they will be a pushover or they won't make decisions, and it will cause problems in your relationship. Even if the DF gets pissed as hell at you for making a decision and following what you want to do, they'll actually respect you and love it later, even if they're pissed. So we just have so much to share, and it's fun, and it's will see you soon. Is that all? Yeah. We, did I, you want to say anything no, else? No, no. We'll have the link on in just a few minutes. Enjoy it. If you have any questions, just shoot us a private message and we'll answer them. And yeah. here's to sexual chemistry. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Okay. Bye.